All right, so by extremely popular request and something that we meant to do for probably a couple weeks and we just haven't, ST200G G. driver. We're gonna be tested by the man himself. The righty in the, the right. room. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously one of those things. There's a few products in the drawer that we carry that come in only right-handed, yep. maybe limited skews or, or limited volume skews, you know, True. we would call them. And, and that's obviously why the, the numbers don't add up to do a lefty option. True enough, they just probably wouldn't sell nearly enough of them. Yeah. Um, so definitely we were interested in this since the show though. Yep. No, no doubt about that. Talking to Chris Michal about it, we saw it even before the show, obviously. Uh, we had a little visit from him back in the fall, I think. Yeah. Um, so adjustable, apparently really, really low spin. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I would expect it sounds probably quite traditional also. Yeah. Um, I think this is like your tour option. The standard SC200 will fit a lot of people, but this yeah. is more your, your high speed player. Seems that way, doesn't it? Yep. There's there's some guys who've put it in play. Luke Donald just playing it. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if Keith Mitchell is playing the G or the standard. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure either. Need to take a look back and see, but definitely more players playing the uh, Mizuno drivers than yeah. ever before. Yeah, which just shows you that they're they're getting better every yeah. year. Um, so what we've done is. The shaft that's been working well for you, not that we're saying it works well in every head, but we'll start with that. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've got a good, good sense of what's going on with this shaft. It should be good, I would think. Um, we've just set it up neutral, though. Nine degree, neutral hosel, neutral weights. Yeah. What I'd like to see, a few ball flights, and then let's yeah. play with the weights, because I think the weights are most of the advantage of that right. head. The other one's not adjustable. And I think the big story with this one, Matty Boy, is, uh, like Chris said, adding a third skew in, which was ST200X, X, has yeah. allowed them to spread the performance a little bit. So yeah. X is lightweight, ST200 is more your, you know, the meat of the bell curve, and then right. you've got ST200G, which is the ability to push that CG further forward and make it, you know, really fast and really low spin, and um, you know, for the guys who are looking for that. I mean, first impressions for me looking at it is. It looks like a, a player's driver because it sits way it's open. Very open. Even at neutral, for me, it sits open. Yeah. Um, so I think before we, well, even at the start of the year, I thought, I wonder if that's a good driver for you. Yeah. I have a feeling some numbers will be good. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you'll be able to get over the address because I know how much you, like, you are really, really a fan of how that looks. I'm, I'm into the same I'm a lot. I mean, it just sits as square as square, square, square. gets. And it also has the similar ability to move yeah. weight heel to toe. It doesn't have the ability back and front. So mm -hmm. that, that's the only thing I'm curious about. Can we find a weight configuration yeah. that somehow gives you something you really, really like? But yeah. regardless, it'll be a review. I'm not saying you're going to fall in love with it, but we'll see. That's right. And it comes, you know, nine degree. We've got it neutral, like you say. Mm. Again, initial address visuals. Looks like it's got 12 degrees of loft on it. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, but it looks like it's got 12 degrees of loft on it because how open it sits. It's so open. If I square it, it looks maybe like nine, five, ten. You know, it looks it's, it's got so a fraction more, it. but it definitely has a look of having more loft on it for me. Okay. Well, let's crack a few. Let's see, and then we will start moving those weights. A lot of different things we can do with those weights because they can go in the single track. Yeah. You can yeah. split them. It's cool, that isn't it? I like it's the way really they've cool. designed that track where you can split it. It's very, very versatile. It sounds good. It does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's uh, more muted than the standard ST200 mm. to my ear. Yeah, that's not a bad start. Not bad. Strike pretty good. A little bit lower in the head, that one, so spin should kick up a fraction. You could hear it, but it's a nice looking yeah. ball. Let's see what kicking spin up did. It's not by much. 200. Yeah. Okay. Sounding good, bud. You'll notice I've made the shot tracer blue for your viewing for my pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> Won't be fitting you to anything that doesn't have a blue tracer. It's okay. Let's. Uh, I want to. I want to look at these numbers because we set it up to be neutral, mm -hmm. and we've really achieved the definition of neutral. <laughs> this is this is the driver for you. At neutral, it's yeah. actually it's actually pretty damn good. It's good, isn't it? I know I know what I would do uh -huh. with the weights. So let me make a little adjustment. Mm -hmm. I'll show the camera. You can look if you want. So based on what I saw, I figured we could afford to shave 300 RPMs. Yep. And you didn't really hit any towy balls, but I put the toe side weight slightly back. 
so that it forgives a bit of a toe strike, okay. in theory. And by forgive, I mean it would add a bit of spin. Interesting. Changed. How'd that feel? Well, it felt good. It completely changed the, the, the launch profile. Did it ever? I, at first, I thought you didn't like it, but then I saw it carry 293. Hit that well. Yeah, decent. I think the strike will, will be okay. Kind of done something I didn't quite ex Well, I guess it makes some sense. Weights forward moving. A CG back would make it easier for you to turn over and close it. This is sort of keeping it down the right side for you a bit. So it basically made you keep the face open. Mm -hmm. It changed your dispersion and your launch angle and your spin profile. You went about a degree more open and, and more dynamic loft. So that makes perfect sense. Okay, so a bit open, mm -hmm. and we put both weights into the toe track, and f pretty much as far forward as they go. The one thing I will say looking at this, if you have any fear of left, if you have the, the kind of hooks in there and you just visually like it to sit open, you might fall in love when you see this. It's the most open 2020 driver by far. <sighs> so certainly. Not even M5 last year was stupid open, and now this is the most open. Yeah, Th this is the most open I've seen. This isn't even all the way open. True, you could I mean, go. That, that looks like it's, it's heading out seven, eight, nine <laughs> degrees, right? Well, let's see what it does in motion. That, nice. was, that was a hook. Was it? Yeah, that was a hook swing. <laughs> That's crazy. That it's was a hook swing. Wait till you see the toe strike. I mean, one might theorize that those toe weights really balanced that off. Yeah. Because that was definitely a toed ball, and we saw a 9mm toe go way left earlier. Yeah. Okay, a couple more. Looks like a good swing to me. Yeah, it's got the high kind of launch, low spin, bomber flight to it. Gentle fade, lots of carry. It's probably the longest one you've hit so far. That's really good. Good, isn't it? That's really good. Yes. Yeah, it's got some legs, is not it? If you're going to play a fade, it thing gives is, you some goofy fade numbers. Look at that. I don't even need to feel like I'm, I'm not like trying to hit that ball kind of down the right like that. I'm just making swings at it right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't your best strike of the day, but it really kept it reasonable. The reality is, is I'm more likely to make that strike than a good one. That's the, that's the reality if of it. That's your worst case scenario. It really kept the ball right. It yeah. seems like the toe weights keep the face from gearing too much or whatever that would be, compare, stabilizing it for you. Compare the, the neutral start to the, the modified version, Matty, on the table. Okay. It's going to be quite interesting. So that's, that's like, we, you know, sit, that's less spin. I think part of it is having the confidence that the, the face is not going to just shut down. Yep. You can maybe add the speed back in and not think that you're going to lose it miles. The other thing is your okay. dynamic lies only two degrees up with that driver in both configurations. Yeah. So that's a very, I mean, that is probably the most fade bias driver we've ever seen. Open, toe weights, the flat lie that it naturally has, throw a really stiff shaft in there and a big grip, like you, you literally couldn't hit a hook if you tried. I like that. I like that weight in, the, weight in the toe configuration, just like that. Yeah, I think that's a good driver for you. I mean, the reality is it probably would come down, I know you can get very similar numbers from Sim also. So a lot of it probably will come down to a little bit of personal preference, a little bit of address, but... But how much of, how much of this comes down to Mizuno just, just silently sitting back going, we've got a driver that's as good as anything in the marketplace? Yeah, yeah. I, I, so I would be, if I was at Mizuno, that's what I'd be doing. Well, so the reality is, as much as you love this, yeah. I think those results are pretty damn similar. And what people will say is that costs 100 bucks less. Yeah. Your uh, Mizuno driver yeah, there I think costs it's, less. Yeah, so what is it in Canada? This is a, I think the standard version is 499 and this one's 599. That's 599 and that's It's a little bit more expensive. So. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Eh? It's good value. It does really well. The adjustability 100% works. It does exactly what it should. And if you put the weights all the way back, it doesn't have to be a low spin monster. We saw it pretty damn neutral for you. Like that starting position, the weights weren't even all the way back. Yeah. So it could be sort of a mid-spin driver, and it could be about as low spin drivers as anyone makes. Yeah. Nice. Well, I think we'll still play around with that for you. I mean, we still got a couple months before we're playing golf, so. Yeah. 
Would you consider that something you can you get over the face? Nah. <laughs> Can't eh? Nah, it's too open. Too open. Damn. I, because to be honest, I'm using the align to square the to face square right the face. now. Yeah. So I've kind of set the grip up to the point where I can go mm. like that. If yeah. anyone's wondering why you wouldn't play it, that's the reason. That's, but if, that's it. If someone likes the open face, it's yeah. going to be your dream. Oh, You'll never see a driver dream. set that open. I know. But, you know, and this is maybe something that uh, the luxury of, of, uh, of being a tour player is you go in there and you hand select five or six heads, you digitally loft them, you take digital readouts in the face angle, True. And, and you sit the one down you like. There's, there's nothing performance-wise that's going to stop you playing this driver. There's nothing that would stop me playing this driver other than just that face sits too open. So I wonder if they found you a static loft driver that isn't nine, maybe it's eight. Yeah. You actually could slightly close the face Probably. so it sits more square. Yeah, it would be fine. I wonder if that's a driver that would actually be great for you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, we'll see what we can dig up. Who knows, maybe we can ask for I know. a little specialty we'll one for you. Yeah, it'll be interesting to, to chat with the guys. And, you know, I know they, they watch the vids and I, ho I hope Mizuno are, are pretty proud of what they've made. I yeah, mean, they that's, should be. That's, uh, that's, Numbers wise, that's as competitive as anything will be. 116, 167, 144 efficiency. Yeah. It's right there with anything. No, the shakeup right here is, is really good. Yeah. That's about as close as you'd want on your driver numbers. Yeah. Great. Good. Good okay. job, Mizuno. So that is a Mizuno ST200G driver. Uh, we'll probably play around with a few drivers for you in an upcoming video. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't mind just get all the shafts maybe. For me, Sim is baseline. Um, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if, if Cobra. Speed zone is something that was really good for me early on. Actually, the first time I tested it, it was faster than Sim. Yeah, you said I done head-to-head -head tests and it was quicker than Sim. Mm. I'd be interested swinging Speed Zone Extreme, not to not to uh, hijack the video here, mm. but um, if if as an aerodynamics, maybe that's what it was. Couple or miles something. an hour club. Yeah, well, well, what the hell? Maybe we'll do it today. Maybe you seem to be in the mood. Yeah.